This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org. Or... If I could go back and tell the Emily that first started raising pigs something, it would probably be to take it one day at a time. You know, agriculture, farming itself is overwhelming, let alone being um, a young woman in agriculture. You know, some hurdles are going to be more difficult to, um, to jump across. And you know what, just making sure to take every task, every hurdle one day at a time and that life does go on. You know, I think that's probably about the best advice that I could give to a younger self. When we met, we both wanted to come back here and farm, or not necessarily come back here. I think she'd prefer to be in some place with more trees than North Central Kansas. But we wanted to farm, uh, and my parents had an established farming operation. Her parents do too. Uh, I wanted to raise livestock. My parents had, uh, and, and I still had livestock here, so we ended up choosing to move back here. Uh, how this really started was, um, my parents' crop farms are not really big enough to support two families full time. Uh, so we had to kind of find a way to dive off on our own venture and see if we could find something that could support us full time. Uh, it's not yet. Uh, I work off the farm full time. She's on the farm full time and we're hopefully transitioning into that uh, sometime in the future of both being here. But. Uh, in high school, we'd landed on the niche marketing business uh, and or not high school and college, landed on niche marketing. As you can tell, they have um, indoor and outdoor access since they're enjoying the mud today. I would say my perfect day on the farm would be about 50 degrees. The pigs love it at that weather and they just seem to be a little bit calmer. And 50 degrees, Nothing is broken, everything has feed, and I can just enjoy the pigs. Because there's a lot of times that there's a million things going on and you don't really get to enjoy the pigs. And every once in a while there's that day where it's just the weather is nice and the pigs are calm and you can, everything seems to be done in, in its place and you just get to enjoy the pigs. So one thing that um, I really like to point out whenever we have folks visit our farm is that even though we really enjoy what we're doing and that it's unique and we like raising pigs outside most of the time, is that most of the time, um, is that, you know, not everybody can do it this way. And sometimes it really isn't sustainable to feed the world in the way that we're raising our pigs. So, you know, there's got to be a little bit of everybody on the market. You know, there's some folks like us that are small and can uh, raise their pigs outside. But then again, there also has to be those bigger guys out there that can raise a lot of pigs for to feed a lot of people, you know, and I take pride in the fact that most people can go to the grocery store and get pork chops for you know 99 cents a pound when they're on sale and i i really am proud to be part of an industry where we can provide safe and cheap and nutritious pork for the world it, we really do folks in america they do feed the world with our pork it it really happens <laughs> Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture, represents grassroots agriculture. The state's largest and most powerful farm organization stands up for its members through leadership development, agriculture education, legal defense, environmental advocacy, farm safety, and risk management. Members also enjoy money-saving benefits. To join our organization today or to learn more, go to www.kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter.